So, we're going to be a little unorthodox. I'm going to let you introduce yourself, man. What's going on? What's going on, world, man? This is Vic Shanks, uh, Savannah, Georgia, 912. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's up, man? What's going on, CJ, man? I'm good, I'm so, I'm, hey, I wanted to say this first since we starting, though. Okay. You are one of the the pioneers in the 912 with recording. Thank you, you, man. And and I think (laughs) now, especially... We got to give people their flowers while they're here. You know what I mean? You, <laughs> gotcha. and, I, and I say that every time I see you, but I want to say it in front of, you know what I mean? <laughs> I appreciate Millions that, of man. people Thank or you. thousands Thank of you. people, it don't matter. I really appreciate that, man. Yeah. I, I, I just do what I do. Yeah. Try to help where I can. Stay down. I try. I try. It's hard out there. You know, you got a lot of people uh, saying certain things, doing certain things, and, you know, live, trying to live their dreams. Yeah. But sometimes I know exactly how to execute it. So I guess that's where I come in. But it's not always easy. <laughs> hey. Sifting through the debris of You're doing it. You're doing it. And I'm then trying. excelling I'm trying. at it. So <laughs> Thank you, man. I mean, Thank you, man. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about you. All right, let's do it. How's your last project? How'd how, how, how that go for you? Yeah. <sighs> it's been about uh two years now since I dropped that project. Okay. Um okay. It, it's still streaming on Audio Mac. Okay. Um, okay. Definitely. Is it, it just there or is it? Yeah, so or is it's it? it's actually only on Audio Mac. We've okay. Got a few okay. samples we didn't clear. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I know. <laughs> so, so we grinding on the mixtape scene right okay. now. Okay. Um, but it it hit like uh, it hit enough numbers where I was like, okay, man, I need to get myself together. That's and, what's up. That's yeah. what's up, man. That's what's up. And I, it, you did a lot of the prior, you know, prior stuff before that. Appreciate so, it. yeah, I tried. Like I said, yeah, <laughs> we brought it to life, though. We yeah. definitely brought it to yeah. life. Yeah. So, any new moves? Any new projects? What you, what you got going, man? Um, I actually got a new project that I'm working on it's right now. It's kind of silly to ask you that because I'm recording. It, yeah, but. yeah, it's <laughs> all good. It's all good because it's all right. really like, man. Uh, when you told me you had a podcast, I did not know at first. I'm like, see, I got a podcast, man. This dude do don't everything, right? <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. I don't. Yeah. I don't really put it out there like that because you know I was trying to keep it kind of on a on a low a little bit, but uh. Nah, man, make that thing blow up, man. We can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, it's, but it's just me. I got you. You know, I'm recording in the studio. I'm doing this and filming. Yeah. So you know, yeah, there's a lot of stuff a lot going of on. Stuff. Yeah, I got, I got like you. little behind the scene documentaries happening. So there's how what man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're supposed to leak that, but but yeah, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, uh, I think this is the first time we talked. Like, like actual really, talk, yeah, talk other than the studio, working, yeah, 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 yeah. It is different. <laughs> it is, it, but but it's it's. I needed it. <laughs> okay, okay. That's what's up, it. man. That's you know what's what up. I mean, just because, like, I man. Sometimes we get in those studio sessions, and you you yeah, see you, just, you see how they go. You yeah. Know? Sometimes yeah, yeah. it it turned left on you, and you just have a yeah. vent session for thirty minutes. That's true. That's true. We've we've done it before, so. Yeah, um, yeah, that, that's that's kind of that's another hard part, you know. I become a, a therapist, yeah, or sometimes vice versa. You know, I could have a day or something, and, you know, through your music or somebody else's music, I might it might clear my head, you know. It, it so it's, and and it's that's universal, why, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That's why I do it. I, I know people be cliche about it, but really, mm-hmm. like when people shoot me the uh, IG message, that's like, bro, your music is, you know, your music is up. this or <laughs> it did this for me. It's like. All right, man. I got all right. Let's go. Okay. Let's capitalize. Okay. Let's, uh, okay. That's keep what's all about. Our best man. foot forward. Yeah, yeah. Touching people's lives. I mean, that's what it's yeah. all about. Especially and music is twenty four seven. It is. It, and you think about it, it, you don't really, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so, a lot of people that claim they do certain things that put yeah. titles behind it, but no, if it's it's a lifestyle. It's it's more than just you know numbers and, and EQ and, and you know it's 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 a lifestyle. Facts. It really is. It really is. I know, man. I mean, I. Uh, I don't know what I would do without it. To be honest with you, I'd, I'd probably go crazy. I feel I feel the same way. It got me through war. It got me through divorces. It got me through all kinds so of stuff. So I feel like sometimes I do take a take a break. You know what I mean? Like right That's now, okay. I yeah. Right now, I've been into trying to figure out, you know, meditating, finding That's peace. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Trying to trying to figure out the world is COVID nineteen and yeah yeah taking over. So. I think I've I've been on that so heavy 
like to where I'm like, all right, I got this. You know? I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meditation, well, where is that? I, I said I wasn't supposed to say it or I didn't want to say it, but the documentary I'm doing kind of talks about the meditation, you know, going going to exotic places. is going places where there's no one at, where you just, you and nature, birds yep. and bees and all that stuff, you just, you, you're clearing your head. Now, I'm going to be honest. I never went in nature to meditate because it's, <laughs> you know, bugs. bugs. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but... I do it. I do it. I definitely go into a quiet space and just be like, man. Yeah. All right. Focus. Yeah. Same difference. Same difference. The only difference is I'm 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 trying to be around more water and waterfalls. And I'm, I'm trying to switch it up because I, I know a lot of people they they live in a bubble, and I was one of the very few or fortunate to be able to see the world on a bigger aspect. So I'm, I'm trying to bring that more to the table and say, hey, you know, it's just, it's just fuel. It's just gas. Yeah. Get in your car and go. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have time. <laughs> I get yeah, that. True. So, true. So. And 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 man, when you miss a couple of days though, that's the one thing yeah. about meditating. If you miss a couple of days, you yeah. feel it. Yeah, you do. You feel it. You do. You do. There was a uh, a time this year where I was just mentally exhausted even though it's with the pandemic and slowing everything down, you know, I I'm a military head. I oh. say that. Are oh, you good? I say that all the time. I'm yeah. a military head, but the way I was looking at it was people wanted to record because they were bored, you know, stuck Facts. at home, stuff like that. I'm like, oh, you're trying to take me out. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to bring the virus here, you know. But I'm that's that militant mind of mine. So I had to kind of refocus myself and re reprogram myself from thinking like, you know what, not not everybody's out to get you type thing. Yeah. You know, you know. So I I, 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 yeah. start, I started to go back to that old school way of thinking instead of the new survival mode and <laughs> thinking like, okay, People are just looking for an outlet. They go, they're looking for some place that's comfortable, and I I try to I try to bring that to the table, but it's you know it's hit or miss. It really is. With pe- it really people, is. Bro, it's people. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, you, you, I don't I don't, I don't try to. <laughs> I don't I don't stride to make everyone happy. I got. You. I quit doing that years ago. I just stride to do the best that I can. Yeah. Period. So I mean, and that's <laughs> that's what music's all about, man. Yeah. You definitely. know, I mean. It is what it is. Anyway, back to you. How, how about family, man? How, how's that? How's everything going with the everybody coronavirus? Is, yeah, everybody's good. Everybody, good. Uh, we have we did have one, but okay. she's good. You know what I mean? And definitely. Nice. So she got the antibodies. Rock, yeah, now. we was rocking with her the whole time. Like you know, okay, okay. She was in college, so oh, in the dorm room, I stuck know, she in there, scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody well, I, good. I know. I know it's sensitive. Um, on my end, I had a lot of family in Oklahoma, and yeah. you know they went to a funeral at the beginning of this. Before they even announced it, so they had already caught been exposed. It. Yeah, basically, oh, what, what they, they didn't know about it. Yeah, and okay. So I kind of looked at that like, okay, I got the genes. We we'll, we'll, we can fight through this, you know. Yeah. But everybody was scared, you know. Yeah. Me, me including. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I was. So, so I'm, <laughs> I was I'm, terrified. I wasn't I'm going. Calling all that's the, the thing. Boys in the, in the like, military, like, hey, what's going on? You know. <laughs> we we stopped everything. Yeah. 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 It, but picking back up, that's the one thing because it took me to a different place. I started realizing how much stress and how much drama that some people were bringing to the stage. I'm like, you know, not not everybody's worth that. If you if you get my meaning, you, yeah. you want to say positive across the board, but there's just those people that just they're just they just so negative. I'm like, look, the world's not going to hand you anything. You got to go get it. And if if you're not gonna if you're not gonna grind and you're gonna try to bring somebody down to your level because you're comfortable there. You can do that by yourself. Like, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm too old for that. <laughs> so, anyway, um, yeah, this virus. Uh, I know it's another touchy subject, so I'm not even going to ask you. What's, what, what, what you going to say? What's up? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. The um, antidote, whatever you want to call it, the shots, whatever. Yeah. I know everybody. I got mine. You got yours? Yeah. And I'm, 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 all right, I'm living it? proof that it's straight. It's all straight. Right. I ain't got mine. So I'm going to be honest. It's all good. It's all good. And, 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 and here's the thing with me. It's just like... Uh, I'm just one of the people who's just like, man, I got to believe it. I got to see it to believe it. You yeah. know what I mean? And, well, that, and that's why I brought it up. Because, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of people out there, they 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 feed off of each other. Right. And it was a culture shock for me because, you know, I'm a city boy. But since I've been here, I kind of noticed like, okay, may, maybe my discomfort could be somebody else's comfort. So when I went, I, I didn't get the shot at first, but then I started thinking about my own family. Mm. You know, they, they, they moved down here so we can all be together, everything. Because, you know, I retired and I ain't going nowhere because, you know, music. Yeah. So when they moved down here, my pops was the first one to get it. And I'm like, oh, I hate to see him. I was going to do it, but it wasn't available for me because they're going by the age. Uh-huh. 
So when he got his, you know, I'm watching him like a hawk. I know I got on his nerves. I'm like, hey, Pop, you good? You know, I'm not like looking at my phone, you know, late at night, making sure there's no messages, yeah. nothing like that. I'm going over there first thing in the morning. So I hope I wasn't. I, I never asked him, but I was worried about my pops. You I know? got you. I was. Legit. Then my mom's got it. She was straight. I'm like, you know what? My turn. So I went and got it. Mm-hmm. And that's what my sister, my nephew, that's, it was just trickle effect after that. Okay. I think but, my, my family, they, they, they getting it. Mm-hmm. Slowly but, but surely. But me, <laughs> me, the stubborn child. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. the stubborn one, man. I'm, hey, man, them. And you showed them so good. You know, and, 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 and no nanites in it and nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, you sure? What, what, what's in it? You know what? what? It's it's like taking a vitamin C, if you think of it that way. Oh, think orange th- juice. <laughs> well, okay, hear me out. Hear me <laughs> nah, out. Okay. <laughs> you go outside and you get the vitamin D from the sun. You know, you, yeah. you get all that. That's natural. Mm. What they're doing, what this drug basically did for me is the sicknesses that I had in the past, like flu, headache, stuff like that. It hit it, it. It hit me, but it wasn't to the point where it was full on. It's gotcha. like, like I, I could feel it, but my eyes aren't watering. You know, you know my my ears okay. got clogged up, so it wasn't like, you know, that was the, that was the second dose, the last dose. So then from there, I'm like, wow. About two or three days later, I felt like I was in the military again. Like, man, let's go do some PT. You know, <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> so it's it's working out too. That's that's something I'm. I, yeah. Do you still work out? Yes. Yeah. Right, well. Right. Okay. I'm lying. I, yeah, I'm lying. I, I got. I, yeah. I, I got a whole. I'm there gym. too. I'm there too. That's what. That's what, you know what I mean. I have a whole gym in the back room. Look, literally, like a full I, gym. I make it maybe. Way, so. I make but. it maybe once a week. Okay. Which is trash. I do it when I feel. But with my schedule, you know what I mean, and <laughs> I need to do more. I know. You know what? My, my excuse mm-hmm. and my working out is picking up that camera. When yeah. I when I start filming the document documentary stuff like that and walking up steep hills and things like that and I start sweating like yeah this is real like oh yeah you know I can oh, yeah. I can barely do stairs now <laughs> so I got you. you know cardio is important it really is it really is I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and you know yeah you should work out you should do this like no I need to get myself into it too I think to feel better I yeah, I, once, yeah. It, when, you know once you get that good workout in it's mm-hmm. like all right man I'm good I I can I can you know yeah. make it make it another two three days. Well, every, but, every day but, is pain for me because my military background too. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing that I gotta I gotta work on. You know, you wake up in pain for no reason. You didn't do nothing, but you just wake up, just yeah. like pain. You know, so I don't know if that's mental or if it's real. So, gotcha. anyway, but you're right, right. Not, not to throw that in there, but working out and staying healthy that that's important. Oh, that's yeah. important, man. It really, it really is. I think that's a lot. That has a lot to do with stress mentally. Yeah, mentally. I, I really do. I think it. I think it helps in it. it me personally, I can't speak for nobody else, but mm-hmm. it helps me uh, just go throughout my day. Cause even even when I don't work out, mm-hmm. thinking about working out, it doesn't yeah. have the same effect. Boy, but mentally, after my meditations, yeah. Yeah, you, the, the and body my, can't you know, live without the mind. <laughs> after my meditations <laughs> and a couple, you know, push ups. I, mm-hmm. I, I do push ups constantly. Okay, uh, but after a couple of those, I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, that's my. So work. you are working out. Yeah, well, doing push ups. Uh, Meditating, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, it's in there. It's yeah. in there. Yeah. I mean, everybody has different a different definition. But if your heart yeah. rate gets up to a certain level for more than 10, 15 minutes, that's what you need. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I drive and I see people playing ball sometimes. It's like, yeah, I played ball my whole life. Like that's what started the whole music career. And I can get into all that, but I miss it. Play I do. ball? Yeah, I, I do. But you know, with the anxieties, I'm and stuff terrible like that. at basketball. Really? Yeah, yeah. I really? am. I am. Man, but was... I, hey, I, <laughs> football was my sport. Football, football? was my sport. Yeah. Uh, okay. It okay. definitely was. Yeah, I played. I played football a little bit. I liked it a little too much. It was a little too, you know, injure yourself before the basketball season and stuff like oh, that. Oh, I got nah, yeah. I got, I got injured a lot playing yeah. football too. I, like every time, <laughs> my dad used to call me injury prone. Ah man, you know what I mean, because yep. it was like every season. Yep. Boom. And I was the quarterback or the running back. Or, but yeah. What position did you play? Yeah, everything. Okay. Literally, I was an athlete. That's what's but, up, man. But, yeah. That's what's up. And you still are. Yeah. I mean, you said you're it, doing push ups, so it's still it's in the there. Yeah. It's there. It's there. Yeah, yeah. I see it. It sparkles every now and then. Right. So let's go back to the music, man. All right, let's do it. This, this, this project after the meditation, after everything we just spoke about, what does is, what is this next project mean to you? Or have you got to that point yet? I have. Really? I have. What's up? It's is it about, too personal? It's, it's about, bro, I want to break it down for you. 
Bring it on, bring it on. Because you CJ, man. You CJ. So um the next project about is is gonna be about just seeing the stars. Okay. And and putting that in, in the context is when we go out and do something, we gotta do put our best foot forward. We you know, we gotta constantly uh I'm kind of losing track of where I'm going with it. You could, but, you could. but this is the project because I put up a, a short video clip. Uh, go check it on my IG, uh, Vic Shanks, V-I-C-K-S-H-A-N-K-S. I put up a short video, and it's, it's about 50 seconds. It's going to give you the pretext of, of where we're going with this next project. Okay. And everything will be next level. Um, nice. and that's And I think that's the thing um, we didn't do with the last project. I didn't. I dropped it with. You know, no videos, just, hey, this is me, and I like music, and here it is, you know. (laughs) But this one, I'm setting everything in steps okay, and going by the book. I mean, it's a growing process. Yeah. There's there's no right and wrong when it comes to life. I got the producers locked in. Cool. Uh, Cool. We just really waiting on the uh, recording process to finish. Okay. And, and me taking this time right here, to, you know what I mean? <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, so I, gotcha. Pre- I definitely appreciate you, though. Thank you, man. Thank no you. Problem. Glad to help. I've done some upgrades in there, too, so you'll, you'll, you'll Again. See. Yeah. I, 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 stay, I, I, keep, I constantly keep upgrading. I got you. Technology keeps changing. <laughs> uh, also, the project, I also want to say, my bad. What's that? <laughs> the project <laughs> could be about four or five songs. It's only going to be about four or five songs. Mm-hmm. And I do that because... At this point in my career, I really have to cut down on some of the music I've been making and put it in the projects. I want to put it in the EPs that you can enjoy. It's short. It's to the point. You okay, don't so you, listen you can to push out more songs. than one. Like you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. You going for a mixtape? You you going for album? Nah, what we're going. Doing? We're going for the gusto. We got to okay. get everything. That's what's up. That's I'm getting what's up. paid from now on okay. for music. Okay, you, you, now you're speaking my language. Yes, sir. Yes, when sir. I, when I said it's hard, like I try to help people do things the right way, but you gotta take baby steps. You, nice. you, you don't you don't know where somebody's head and, is, at and that you time, gotta so. learn it. That's the <laughs> you thing. gotta That's learn. That's the big it. thing. You know, I wish yeah. I had the mentality to sit down and teach everybody every aspect of it, but you know, I don't always speak everyone's language. So yeah, I'm old. Yeah, some- <laughs> so. I try to help some artists come on and, mm-hmm. and do the same thing. You know what I mean? Just just teaching them. And I'm constantly doing it. Like, just shoot me a message. I teach you, you know, everything I learned to this point because I'm still learning. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it's a lot of information out there. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a monster. It's a lot of steps. Yeah. But, I mean, once, go once for it. You, once, you know, why not? Once, once you do it right. Once yeah. you do it right. And you learn that system, then it's easy. It's really easy. I mean. The, the the big the biggest I think the biggest reward or the biggest give back in music is to watch artists grow. To be able to say, you know what, I made that, it's paying a bill, you know, or, or maybe it's doing a lot more than that. But that's the ultimate goal that I see in everyone. Really. Really. And I and I do have this two uh also have this two singles still on uh Spotify streaming all streaming platforms, Vic okay. Shanks. Okay. Yeah, just wanted to plug that. What are they called? I don't remember. It's ah, been so man. long since I it. <laughs> it's all good. It's yeah. all good. We'll look it up. We'll look it up. We'll look it up. Look it up. <laughs> so family's doing good. You're doing good. Yes, sir. Yes, Projects sir. on the way. Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. So what 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 else we got? You know, you... Um, I'm also getting into short films. I okay. am. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we got we spoke uh, about that before. Yeah, we got uh the short film coming up. Well, uh, July, July, July. Okay, so okay. we'll be shooting that, and it's about to be on YouTube. We're gonna shoot it straight to YouTube, and okay. it's gonna go along with the album. It nice. is gonna go along with the uh, album I'm about to drop. Okay, scripted or kind of freestyle, documentary style. What you doing? Um, it kind of tells a story. It's or still in that. It's, it's still in that story of um, we're gonna try to get um, just many, many ideas in gotcha. it first. You know okay. what I mean? But, okay. but we're still working on that. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Kind of like raw, kind of. Yeah, man. Raw, uns- yeah, oh, definitely. You know, we just kind of do it like, hey, mm-hmm. we got this. We got to we <laughs> gotta get the money right, though, first. That's yeah. important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many people you got involved in it? Or? 
Um, right now, uh, about five. Okay, but we do want to, you know, hey, if anybody wants to help or if anybody wants to be a part of some short films, if you got some acting backgrounds, if you if you just want to help a brother out, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm you know what? Try um go on Facebook and look at uh, yeah. like there, I think there's a page called Actors to Actors. Um, you know, type in things like that. Yeah. Because actors know that nine times out of ten, if you if you're part of a project, it's a fifty fifty chance you might get paid, you might not get paid. But in acting, it's all about the the craft of it, kind of like music, yeah. sort of. And I'm not so, an actor. <laughs> <laughs> sure but, you are. But sure it's, you are. it's yeah, it's in the mind, right? Yeah. 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 Anytime, you, anytime you pick up your phone, you're acting. Think about it. Anytime you talk to your boss. You're acting. Are you actually acting like you, mm. or are you giving a representation of yourself? I mean, that's gonna, that's I mean, what acting is. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Man, you get pulled over. Yes, yeah, sir. no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I can come up with a few things then. <laughs> you but. see what I'm saying? You see, so yeah. So I mean, that's all acting is. The greatest actors I've ever come across, or the greatest actors I've ever seen, like Denzel Washington. He's not really acting. He's being himself, and that's that's what makes him so authentic. So. When an actor gets to that stage in their life, then you can finally say, you know what? I don't need to know him because he's not being fake. He's being he's being him. Yeah. So Gene Hatman, you know, the, all all those old school people. I don't know who Gene Hatman is, but um, I respect it. Gene Hatman, I'm trying to think what movies did he do. Uh, he just popped in my head. Um, Caucasian dude. Uh, I don't know if that's going to help. <laughs> Crimson Tide. You ever see that? Yeah. It's a Navy yeah, movie. Yeah. Crimson Tide. Yeah, no, I was thinking. Uh, okay. Well, he uh, yeah. he was a naval captain. Okay. On a nuclear sub, and they got authorization to shoot nukes. Well, Denzel was the actual person. He wanted to do checks and balances. He wanted to make sure that it wasn't the Russians just saying, you know, breaking into the system or something like that. So they wanted to reauthenticate it. Well, another Russian Akula class sub shot them and disabled mm-hmm. their communications when a communication was coming in. So in the military across the board, when half of a message comes through, you stick to the me- you stick to the um, the orders at hand. With that being said, <laughs> it got real messy. You know, it's, it's like a mutiny on a, on a nuclear class sub. <laughs> so to me, it was kind of near and dear because you know, spent you know most of my life in the military. So watching something like that from the other aspect, I was married to the Navy twice. Yeah. So I kind of know their inner workings as well. And it was, I don't know, one of my favorite movies. That's why I brought it up. I got but you. his acting is an acting. I'm going to definitely look him up. I always, yeah. you know. It was, I think it's back in the 90s or something like that. There's yeah. a lot of movies out there that, even to this day, a lot of people think like, oh, this is just fantasy. This is make-believe. But there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the industry that we see all the time mm-hmm. that's actually relevant to today. It's actually reality. But if you think about it, if a man or a woman can see it, they can create it. Nice. So and th- and that's where we're putting it in perspective, right? right there. So where they're getting this, wh- where they're getting these ideas? Is it something that just mm-hmm. conjuring up? Are they taking somebody else's ideas and coming up with their own, or did they actually see something? Man, I could. <laughs> so that's from scratch. Yeah, that, it, it all coexists with this. It, it's all music. It's all that's what life is. It's, it's like you know, you look at religion, and this might blow your mind, it might not. But okay. what I hear, what I don't hear. Anyone ever talk about, you know, at the beginning, Adam and Eve, well, who ate the apple? Eve, right? Yeah. But think about that, though. Mm-hmm. I, that, I wasn't a quiz for you to like. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. No, but, no. I but, knew who ate the apple. I was just like, So okay. if she was the first woman on earth and God said, don't eat from this tree, God, him or herself said, do not do this. I'll give you everything you need. Think about this. Mm-hmm. If she wasn't satisfied through our creator, what makes you think any woman on earth ah. day is going to... You see what I'm saying? You see Ooh. what I'm getting at? So if Man. You, <laughs> you just, <laughs> I didn't never think of it like that, but uh, yeah, you're A lot right. of people don't. A lot of people don't. If you, if you really look at the bigger picture, so then you look at the games, you look at the anger, you look at all the things mixed together, like, wow, you kind of understand it, yeah. which means you got a choice now. Do you still want to tolerate it, or do you want to fight it, or do you want to walk down the middle? Carp. I can't think of the word. Uh, carp. 
compartmentalize with it. Yeah. Compartmentalize. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I get that. I get that. I, that that's, a, that's something I've been focusing on mm-hmm. heavy now. Okay. You do not get all of my brain when you to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Some things uh-huh. have to stay private. Why, why does everything have to be a game? And it's simple. I think everything is a game. Everything is manipulation. Everything literally boils down to insecurities. Everything boils down to like, I, I don't know what I want, but I know I want everything. And I know I need you to get it. And we so, can get it. So fight, fight, fight. Yeah. It's like, whoa, yeah. wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. How about we just go and make a couple sandwiches and watch Netflix? Can we do that? You know? <laughs> that that's, just, that's how just some people it think. It is. It is. But then you got people like, okay, the neighbors just bought a new car. What's up? What's we, up? We, we need to do you that. You got to get there. No. <laughs> nah. Yeah. We, you got to get there, but is it realistic? Mm. Is there anything wrong with your car? Or do you just want it to keep up with the quote unquote Jones? Jones is next yeah. door. Okay, I got what you're tracking. Now. Yeah, I much rather have the inside of my crib look like a castle mm-hmm. versus going out and buying some fancy car to bring somebody into my life that's going to cause me stress. Okay, but you got you have to get to that point. You know, I, I, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I think, I think I'm like this. What's up? I, I'm tracking where you're going, and I'm I'm the opposite. And okay, I'm, and I say it like this, like this meaning. Once I get that car, now I have to grind three times harder to keep that car. Yes. That's what I want. I have to have that feeling. I like it. Okay. The pressure of it. Ah. It keeps me going. And that's where I say, you know, car, compartment, I Comp- say, okay, compartmentalized. Man, we both there. But <laughs> we, they got where we're going with it. Okay, but okay. Um, You know what that's called? No. Nah. That's, that's the epitome of being a man. Just give a man something to do, something to focus on. Give him you purpose. Have to. Yeah, you, you have to. I mean, yeah. like I said, you can't give everybody all of you, right? And, and right. that's something. The process of just the COVID nineteen yes. and the, yeah, 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 this yeah, yeah. hit, and then oh, mm-hmm. Trump is the president, and the you know, yeah, nah. yeah. Uh, years ago, well, not even years ago. I'm just gonna talk about today. Um, I, sometimes I go on Facebook. A lot of people think I live on there, but no, I'm, I don't live on there. I'm, I'm creating, so I can't. I got you. <laughs> but when I go on there, I see half naked women. You know, I see people talking about their emotions or feelings. And then every now and then, somebody will ask me, like, "Hey, man, you know, you never say anything about you. Like, what's going on? Like, blah blah blah." And I'm like, "I'm not an open book. I'm really not. What I'm showing you is the work that I'm helping other people do." Facts. But I'm but showing you me. Who I am? Why? Because all that's going to do is open up the door for more stress and drama. I like to be by myself. I like to reflect. If I can't do that, then that's when the beast comes out. That's when the soldier comes out. You know, so. sometimes when you let people in, you let more of them in than you should. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, getting to know people is like where I kind of like, eh, you know, just yeah. throw up that elbow every now and then. Well, it's, you, you hit the nail on the head, man. You really did because you don't ever want to change yourself. Exactly. Ever. You exactly. don't want to change your personality. My, my personality is like, look, this is who I am. Bam. You might get 100%. You might get 30%. Eventually, you're going to get everything. Well, that's my downfall because I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't beat around the bush. Right. I don't lie. I don't give somebody some false facade. Right. I, just, I give them who I want. But then all of a sudden, not give them who I want, but you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Then all of a sudden, you realize who they are. Like, whoa. You don't, you, don't, you don't like the real me. You just like something that I'm bringing to the table. You wanted that. I'm like, okay, here we go. Again. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Or sometimes they might want what they see. That's they what I mean. They might not want what you see. Right, right. Like, You know what I mean? It's the grass ain't everybody. greener. But uh-huh. sometimes you might not want what you see. But That's true. I think I think uh, just just constantly uh, evolving as a human. Yes. You know, yeah. learning Yep. Like, I think that's another big thing I picked up while, you know, for the last probably like three, four months, just reading, oh, like that's COVID reading right more, there. Yep. you know. Yep. I'm always reading, always studying. Um, I'm never, I don't know how to settle. I don't know how to just sit there and like, okay, this is, this is what it is. Like, no, I get in those modes. And I'm just thinking. Just work. It's yeah. Just working. Yeah, I'm just building stuff just because. Man. Just, it's just. It's, I love it. <laughs> oh, I did have a kid. So that's one thing. I, you know, <laughs> right. once you have that kid, it's kind of like, okay, it, that kind of stops. You're it kind of, right. right. you know, just puts a hamper on it. Mm-hmm. And 
I think now she's two. So oh, wow, congratulations, man. Appreciate you, bro. Um, now that she's two though, she's learning like when I hear a beat, daddy's about uh, to make me dance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, okay. So so I think that part I enjoy also in the creating nice. process. Cause now I have to bring her into it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. I, I I was trying at first, like, man, I you know, I don't wanna, you know, but no. She's gonna be in the room while I make these songs. That's good. She she's gonna tell me, you know, just by her actions. And if she likes it or doesn't like exactly. it. Exactly. So she's your therapy too. Yeah. Facts. Facts. I mean, she's half of you. So I mean, yeah. maybe even all of you, you know. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Not taking it away from your wife or anything, <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, at yeah. that moment, you know. But that, that's gotta be an awesome feeling. Getting back there, just just re- recording again and, and just getting back into the music lifestyle. Mm-hmm. With, you know, locking in with you, bro. That's that's awesome to me. You know, thank what you, mean? Because it's like thank you. We done came a long way, bro. Yeah. So Yeah, we all have, yeah. Yeah. That's a fact, man. On that note, man, I appreciate you, brother. Hey, thank you, bro. Look forward to the next album. It's coming. Next project. It's on the way, I promise. All right. Be looking out for it, man. We'll be seeing y'all. Peace. Peace. CJ Ward. CJ Ward. Podcast.